Hey guys, in this video, we'll go over each individual item and pack in the Pearl store that is currently on sale this week. This video will be for people who are curious on what the value of each pack in RNG boxes on the Pearl store, or newer players who want to know what's worth it to buy this week. This week is actually pretty interesting as we got a good mix of different packs, passes, and RNG boxes. We have a new daily special pass for August and some new summer packs. We'll talk about the total value of all these packs coming right up. Fair warning before we explain the other packs, the August bundle pack which includes the Cronstone bundles seem to be so low value that's worse than buying premium outfit boxes at the weekly 30% off. It's even comparable to buying premium outfit boxes at full price so watch out for that one. We will of course explain that after the daily special pass. The first item we'll talk about is of course the daily special pass. For 3,500 pearls, you are able to unlock the premium items on the bottom part of the daily special login rewards. These include 14 different items that unlock every day you log in. This pass can be purchased for 41 days until September 19th, so you'll have plenty of time to unlock everything. You can always log in for 14 days, unlock everything, and then buy this pass to instantly get all items if you so choose. You'll always get the free items on the top, the Pearl Pass only unlocks the bottom items. Because of this, to calculate the total value of the Daily Special Pass, we only valued items from the bottom, premium portion of the pass. We will have another video out shortly that goes over how we valued each individual item and some caveats, but in general, when we get every item and assign a Pearl value to them, we get that this pass has a total Pearl value of 18,400 Pearls. Most of these are pretty simple as Dark Origins are about 566 pearls each, Krons are 3.424 pearls each, and Artisans are 20 pearls each. The Choose Your Outfit box is 2200 pearls as all outfit choices are from the 2200 pearl basic outfits. The stacks I value at 1100 pearls for a 100 stack and double that 2200 pearls for a 120 stack. This can definitely change per person, but I think it's relatively safe valuation. The Artisan's Worker box I didn't value since Artisan's Workers don't really have a Pearl value. The most interesting items are the Daily Special Selection box, the Ultimate Custom Enhancement box, and the Choose Your Classic Pet box. I value the Daily Special Selection box based off the Celestial Horse Spirit that you can choose, which is usually 750 pearls on the Pearl store. If you instead choose the Krons, this box will only be worth 514 pearls. For the ultimate custom enhancement box, we simply chose the 20 artisans, then the 200 Krons, and finally the 60 stack. All put together, it's worth about 1360 pearls since Krons are worth 3.424 pearls each, and artisans are worth 20 pearls each. Finally, for the choose your classic pet box, because you are able to choose the penguin which is an epic pet, I put the base value of pets at 1,800 pearls, which is the same as the Arctic Fox currently on the Pearl store. You also get a pet appearance change coupon, which is 250 pearls. If you don't choose the penguin, then you can use 1,100 pearls instead of the 1,800 pearls, and this box would be worth 700 less pearls. Again, if you want a more in-depth analysis, I will upload another video on the daily special pass soon. In total, this pass has an overall value of 18,480 pearls if you include every single item that you can purchase for this pass and logging in for 14 days. Because this pass costs 3,500 pearls, it has a discount equivalence of 81%. Now what does discount equivalence mean? Well since you are getting a total pearl value of 18,480 pearls for only 3,500 pearls, it's basically like buying these items at 81% off aka it's equivalent to having that discount. On the Pearl store though, it doesn't show anything, only the fact that this pass costs 3,500 pearls, which is why in this video we'll include a discount equivalence for every item. We also did a more strict valuation which removes a bunch of the value from the stacks, dark hungers, and non cron slash artisan items. In total, this pack would be worth 12,708 pearls and have a discount equivalence of 72% with this more strict valuation. That is still honestly pretty good, and if you only value Krons and Artisans, this pack can still be a pretty good pickup. Irregardless of whether you value things more strictly or not, this pass is going to be worth it for most people if you want Krons, 
artisans, and some of the bonus items. If you are already looking for a basic outfit that's included in the Choose Your 2024 Outfit box, this pass would basically be getting a ton of bonus items for only 1,300 more pearls, which is really good value. However, I will mention that this pass doesn't really include anything exclusive or event-based. Most of its value just comes from crons, artisans, stacks, and event origins of Dark Hungers. Because of this, for newer players or people who don't really want those items, it can be a skip even though it gives a lot of value. I'll be honest, I don't really buy these passes anymore even though they are really nice, just because I don't really need that much more crons and artisans at the current moment. However, for those who still do, this is a pretty good value pass to buy. Next up, we got the Step Up 2 Daily Special Core Pack. This pack requires you to buy the previously mentioned Daily Special Pass. It includes basically all the same items except for the Artisan's Worker Box. The only difference is that you don't have to log in, you'll get every item instantly when you buy this pack. However, the big issue is that it's double the pearl price. Because the items are the same, the total value is the same at 18,480 pearls normally or 12,708 pearls if you value strictly for more crons and artisans. Since the price is doubled though at 6,954 pearls, the discount equivalence is only 62% off normally and 45% off strict. The value is still okay but honestly not as great as some event sales where they put up artisans or crons for 50% off or more. This is only good if you really need the stacks or the dim origins of Dark Hungers. For sake of transparency, since I don't buy the first pass, I obviously won't buy this pack either, but even when I did buy the first daily special passes, I never got the daily special core pack. For most people I know that are medium spenders, they do get the daily login pass, but they don't always get the daily special core pack. Since it basically costs double the pearls for the same amount of items, it's usually avoided by most people. However, if you really like the items, the value is honestly not that bad. Now we'll move on to the August Bundle Pack. As mentioned earlier, this pack is basically just a straight scam with PA using multiple different techniques to try and obfuscate the value of this pack to make it seem like it's good. We will go over more in depth in another video, but for now let's look at it in a straight value sense for pearls. In previous videos, we valued each of these boxes. Resplendent Cronstone Bundles give 1,095 pearls on average per box. Mystical Cronstone Bundles give 374 pearls on average per box. And Rare Cronstone Bundles give 661 pearls on average per box. Since we get 3 boxes per pack, if we multiply all of that by 3 and add them together, we get a total pearl value of about 6,390 pearls. That means that on average when you open all these 9 boxes, you'll get crons worth 6,390 pearls. That is also average which means that there's a good chance of getting lower or more than the average value. Most RNG boxes, you would assume that its base value is around 30-40% to off. Even with this pack being in quotes 30% off and being sold for 5,241 pearls, its discount equivalence is only 18%, as you're paying 5,241 pearls to get 6,390 pearls on average. That is way worse than the weekly 30% off for premium outfits, and that makes this pack pretty bad. Because historically, PA has always made RNG boxes at base price 30-40% off value, most people would immediately buy this pack as it shows that this price is additionally sold at 30% off, which would multiplicatively increase its usual 30-40% to off value. In reality though, you're only getting a discount of 18% which is really bad. Now it is possible to value these boxes higher, but even if you do value them higher, it's still not going to be that much higher. Even if this pack is comparable to a 30% off sale, you're still taking on additional risk instead of just buying the weekly premium outfit pack. In the end, this RNG box I would recommend most people avoid and I may do a follow up video to explain it more in depth. However, with all those done, we're going to move on to the rest of these items. Most of these packs are pretty simple and don't have that much to explain. The first item, we have the all-in-one exchange coupon pack which is 35% off being sold for 7,930 pearls. It is used to exchange your combat XP and skills to another character along with a breath, health, and strength experience. 
Since the bonus items are the Finto's Juice, those don't really have a pearl value, so this pack is just going to be what it says at 35% off. If you really want to exchange your experience, 35% off is okay, but honestly not really that useful in the long term, as you can level characters really easily now. However, the combat slash skill XP change coupons don't really go on sale that often, so it is a good sale if you can use it. The combat slash skill XP change coupon is also being sold by itself for 25% off at 7,500 pearls, so it's slightly cheaper if you don't need the other XP coupons, but only 430 pearls less since it's 25% off rather than 35% off. The next pack is the August Enhancement Selection Pack, which is just 8 premium outfits for 35% off. It also includes a 10% off apparel discount coupon, which is okay, but really not that big of a deal. This pack is pretty straightforward as it's just buying outfits or crons at 35% off. These are usually the first thing that go on sale during big events and usually 50% off or more, so there's really nothing special here. If you are in a rush for crons, it can be better than nothing, but for most people, it's a pretty easy skip. After that, the next pack is the August Enhancement Selection Pack, which you can choose two items, either a premium outfit box or artisan's memories. You can also choose the same item twice. On top of that, you get a bonus of a 70 stack and an enhancement help kit 3. The Artisan's Memories is a little bit worse value with 165 being worth 3,300 pearls, while the Premium Outfit Box is 3,400 pearls. However, it's close enough that you should just pick whichever one that you need most. If we include the 400 pearl value from the 70 stack, the bundle is worth about 7,200 pearls and it's on a 34% discount. For just crons or artisans, this pack is honestly not that great, and as we said earlier, are often sold on the pearl store for 50% off or more during events. This is a pretty easy skip unless you really need crons and artisans. Next up is the Artisans Memory Pack. This pack includes 350 artisans, 100 memory fragments, and a 100 stack. If you value the 350 artisans at 7,000 pearls, the memory fragments at 500 pearls, since 4 memory fragments are the same as 1 artisan, and the 100 stack at 1,100 pearls, the total value of this pack is 8,600 pearls. That would make this pack have a 42% off discount equivalent. With that being said, stack value is a little bit lower these days, so 1,100 pearls for a 100 stack may be a little bit too much. However, even with this valuation, 42% off isn't as high as a usual 50% off or more for artisans, so unless you really need artisans and a 100 stack, this can also be skippable. This pack is slightly better value than the previous artisans packs. Finally, we have the Convenient Enhancement Support Packs and Nader's Parchments. This pack includes 1 Nader's Parchments, 30 artisans, with a bonus of 2 Blacksmith's Secret Books and an Enhancement Help Kit. If you include the blacksmith's books at 200 pearls each, the total value is about 2,100 pearls, which would give this pack a 41% off discount equivalent. That's pretty good, but still the blacksmith's secret books and artisans are a bonus item. The most important items is the nader's parchments. You can currently buy nader's parchments for 880 pearls by themselves. That means that you're basically spending 362 pearls, for a bonus of 30 artisans, the blacksmith's books, and an enhancement help kit. That's okay if you are able to use these extra items, but if you only want the nader's parchment, just buying them by themselves for 20% off is more than fine. It'll just be up to the player whatever one they want. All in all though, nader's parchments aren't put on sale that often, so it's a decent pickup if you can use them. But that's basically all for this video. The daily special pass is as usual pretty good value if you want the stacks, crons, and artisans, and there are some other pretty decent packs. The only annoying part this week is the cronstone pack which is a pretty big scam, and I may talk about it more in depth in another video. Other than those though, this week is really focused on the daily special pass and really not that many other interesting things, as it's mostly just crons or artisans being put on sale. Either way though, I hope you all learned something from this video, and I hope to see you all next time.